So that's um, Dot's little diary, and she's <laughs> going to read from it. How cool and sweet and old school. While I, while I'm graduating to electronic devices. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, welcome to Dot's Indie Top Five. This is going to be a special treat for all you independent music loving fans, musicians who sing in English, singer songwriters who deliver their passion in a language that we're all familiar with, but they're all Indian. And we thought the best person to get on this show is somebody from the scene itself. And who better than Dot? You'd recognize her as Ethel from the movie The Archies. But if you're a lover of indie music, you'd be following her YouTube channel Dot, which has raked up millions of views with her skill as a singer-songwriter. I'm so happy to see you. How are you doing? Great. Thank you for having me. The reason she's here is every single week over the next four weeks, she's going to pick five independent artists and their tracks and talk about those tracks. You think it's a good idea? <laughs> yeah, I'm actually very excited. Uh, it's something that kind of I've, I've been wanting to do in some shape or form for a while now um, because obviously when I started off from my YouTube j days, um, I didn't really, uh, I was part of the indie scene but I wasn't there and now that I've kind of come back and I've had a chance to listen to some of the amazing artists that we're going to feature, um, it's nice to be able to highlight them, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah, and mm -hmm. also having worked now uh, in the Archies and worked on that particular album, you must understand how regular commercials album albums happen as well as the shoe strap small little albums mm -hmm. happen, isn't it? Yeah. It's a nice. It's nice to be able to compare. You're right. Yeah. I mean, they're completely different worlds, and uh, and there's something very sweet about the indie scene. Okay. Now these are not in any particular order. It's not a countdown. I'm going to keep repeating that. They're just five songs by Indian artists. Not necessarily five, four, three, two, one, but just five. And this week, Dot has picked just as easily by an artist called Fizel de Souza. Amazing track, you guys should go and check it out. She's actually Mangalore based Frizzell. I know a lot of these artists are people you've met, performed with, some you don't even know at all. But you definitely know enough about them to have picked them on this list. So Frizzell, and what is it about this song that really spoke to you? Well, um, I, I do know Frizzell kind of because we're kind of in Bangalore together and uh, she opened for me in my tour last year. Uh, so that's kind of where I met her and discovered her music and um, I, I, I took it upon myself to kind of talk to some of the artists uh, who, whose music we're featuring and I got a few quotes about the, the music Lovely. that they wrote. So that I'll kind of go through those. So that's um, Dot's little diary and she's <laughs> going to read from it. How cool and sweet and old school. While, I, while I'm graduating to electronic devices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to get uh, the artist's perspective, you know. Uh, because yes. So she says that the song, uh, just as easily she wrote, she said the hardest thing about writing a song like this is not losing the essence of the story um, and keeping everything, uh, all the details uh, continuous in translation. So um, it's a song that's universal, it's simple. Um, anyone off the street can kind of relate to it. That's kind of what her goal as a songwriter is to kind of try and um, <clears throat> make it uh, have the details about the thing that she's talking about but still get it across to the person, um, to the listener and uh, and yeah it, it's a very sweet song uh, produced by Varun Murali and particularly I wanted to kind of draw attention to the strings in the song. Um, they were done by uh, Shravan Sridhar from the Non-Violinist Project in Chennai and uh, I just think the strings are just they just bring the, they, they take the song to a whole new level it's been produced really well um, and yeah this is just as easily yeah and you know the beauty of the song is it talks about falling in love very easily <laughs> and all of us can relate to that we've been through a phase of our life when we have perhaps been infatuation junkies <laughs> and <laughs> this makes it so believable so that's dots pick just as easily by Frizzell de Zuza the Mangalorean singer who operates out of Bangalore, like Dot said, has also opened for her. The next song is Meera Desai with Distance. And Meera, again, is somebody with a very interesting background. She was born and brought up in New York City. And she spent about a decade learning Western classical music. Nina Simone, Nora Jones, you know, that kind of genre. But then, eventually, she moved back to her home state, which is Gujarat 
Now, Gujarat is a dry state, <laughs> so which means bars, restaurants don't serve alcohol, but there is still a scene which is slowly coming into place. And Meera started playing, uh, you know, at small gigs at these small venues. And you must resonate with backgrounds of artists. It's so important because that's what shapes them. For example, you grew up, you know, in, in Laba, then Delhi, but then you went abroad to study, which mm -hmm. again gave you a different perspective. Yeah. So talk yeah. about Meera, please. Um, yeah, Meera uh, is an artist I respect a lot. I think probably out of everyone um, right now, she's probably one of the best lyric writers that we have in the country, is what I feel. Um, and uh, uh, her song Distance really spoke to me. It's that line, you know, you said that you've let me go, but now that you've let me go, I miss the burn of the shackles on my wrists. And I just find that uh, to be, it's so it's such a simple line and it just kind of, at that point, you get hooked, I feel like. And uh, um, also the song is kind of, it's got these bluesy elements, but it's also got a bit of uh, like a folksy harmony thing going on, which uh, it's very unexpected uh, from, from like a singer songwriter pop kind of track, um, these folky references. Um, and she says about the song, it's a, it's a song about not being able to appreciate the people you're close to until they're not close to you anymore. Ow! Which, That's uh, deep. Yeah. Yeah, you often, you know, you, you only know the value of what you've lost until it's gone, you never know. Yeah, and, and she, talks you know. About, she talks about how uh, this song was what earned her her first festival uh, slot. So she sent like a small rinky-dink phone recording uh, of this track to uh, Prati Kuhad and, and opened for him with her sister uh, in, back in 2018. So that's wow. kind of a cool little anecdote. Uh, Prati Kuhad is really the superhero of the Indian independent scene. And uh, if you were recently in Mumbai city, you saw, saw him open for, for Ed Sheeran. He did such a spectacular job. More part of Prati for promoting independent artists and independent music. And that's another wonderful pick, Meera Distance. Now this is something unlikely. You'd think a singer-songwriter like Dot, who plays the piano and has so much melody in her music, um, wouldn't pick a pure instrumental track because her songs all have vocals in them. It just proves that you can listen to anything and everything, widen your exposure, but you can still be a particular kind of artist. And this one's the Joy Sharma band after you've gone. Like I said, it's a pure instrumental piece. Joey Sharma himself is from Nagaland, but he moved to Bangalore and this is a very eclectic band. Sammy David on guitar from Bangalore, Hari Priya, uh, this lady on the bass. Um, why did you pick this one? I'm just so intrigued. <laughs> so, uh, the Joey Sharma band, they, they play a genre of music called Gypsy Jazz, which is something that I hadn't, I mean, I kind of knew what it was, but I hadn't really understood it fully until I went to see their gig at the Blue Room, wow. which is a small, very, very tiny kind of so far sounds type of venue in, um, in Bangalore. It's a form of jazz that originated in the 1930s in France. Um, its inception is attributed to Django Reinhardt. Um, so it's very, it's, it's this acoustic guitar kind of upbeat, peppy jazz. I can and feel people doing the flamenco to it, you know, it's just, <laughs> a, you know, one of those, at points it gets furious, it's wonderful. Yeah, 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 yeah. it's very energetic. Um, and I was just, I was very impressed with uh, the music that they played and Joey Sharma just kind of picked this genre and decided to study it and explore it and took his guitar and 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 just went with it and i think that that's something that's very it's such a niche thing uh for him to have kind of picked up uh that yeah i i, I was quite impressed by that and i i wanted to feature it for that reason lovely gypsy jazz who would have thought and that's why dot is here drawing on a wide expertise uh, as an independent artist also somebody who really respects the scene and understands all kinds of music just a, a little bit of trivia for you guys. Joey Sharma, the main man of the band, he won the All India Finger Style Competition. So he's, he's got some cool finger uh, skills on the acoustic guitar. And more power to those guys. Okay, with three tracks down, two to go. You have any suggestions or songs that you're listening to, please let us know. We're at 94.3 Radio 1 India on Instagram. All you have to do is inbox us. We also have a WhatsApp line, 9833-943-943. you have any comments on the show that Dot is doing, Dot's Indie uh, Top 5, please drop in a WhatsApp and uh, we're happy to go through it. Now, Shillong is the hotbed of music that comes out of the Northeast. The Northeast itself is such a vibrant place 
for independent musicians. Very interesting duo, Rebel and Dapest. Rebel is is a hip hop artist, is a rapper, very concerned and conscious about social issues. Uh, I'm disturbed about the fact that people alter themselves to be accepted. I mean, just be yourself. And Dapest is is the person who actually sings the verses. Very R&B inspired singing. And they're absolutely terrific. And this particular song, Manifest, I don't even listen to this genre too much. But I started listening to it because you suggested the, uh, right. the song. And I just can't get it out of my system. Yeah. Talk to me about the producer and, you know, this incredible duo. Yeah, so uh, the song is produced by Demon, um, who I don't know very much about, but I mean, incredible job on this song. It's so layered and, and detailed and, and very listenable. Um, hip hop is not something that I kind of am familiar with, uh, like at least from when I was a kid, but um, recently I've been listening to a lot of hip hop and rap and R&B and stuff like that. And, and this just falls squarely into the, that old school, soul inspired, um, you know, it just the groove just sits so well. Um, and uh, I think Rebel just delivers. I, I yeah, also the, actually even like the video, the way it's structured. Mm -hmm. You know, the thing about, about hip hop videos is, I mean, they've got to tell a story, right? I mean, it just, they've got to tell more than just a person on a microphone singing. And I think it's wonderful, the kind of storytelling that is there. Yeah, you were saying. I was just saying, yeah, they, 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 they talk about uh, the song being about how entitlement can ruin a person's image. So uh, it's, it's sort of about authenticity and staying grounded um, and not getting lost in the, in the rat race, I guess. Um, which is something that I guess every uh, m musician, any kind of public figure st starts to face at a certain point. Um, so yeah, I just, it's a fun track and uh, what wow. a lesson. So yeah. even the fun track has such a lesson. She's right. All of us reach a point in our lives, especially in the media, after attaining a certain amount of popularity, entitlement comes in, but you've got to strip off the layers if you want to keep it simple and you want to sing straight from your being. And that's really incredible. An artist who calls herself Inga, and this is a song called Blown My Cover. Inga, incidentally, is being mentored by A.R. Rehman for, I mean, she's part of Nexa Music, which I th again think is a great initiative. Dot, I believe that corporate sponsors should step forward to, to promote music. And if it's a Nexa Music project or whatever project it is, as long as the artist gets funded with a great music video, takes some uh, money home for all the effort that they put in, and of course you get the right gear and things like that, mm. that is such an, uh, an encouraging sign, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, uh, we all need resources, you know. It's always a bit of a push and pull within the artist um, as to um, how much they want to spend on the track because they know they're maybe not getting anything back from it um, sometimes and uh, and kind of balancing that, that out with their vision for the song, the quality that they want to achieve um, in, in the music. Um, this particular track, I discovered Inga actually uh, from from her YouTube videos. Um, she had these kind of live uh, versions of some of her songs up that were that were up there. I think the song I found was Days Go By, which I really liked. And then this this one hit really hard. It's called Blown My Cover. And uh, I asked her a bit about it. She's also a Bangalore-based um, artist. And she, she told me that uh, she when she wrote the song, at the time she was suffering from alcohol addiction um, and she felt a deep dissonance, um, you know, within herself. And, and making songs seem like the only worthwhile thing to do. She talks about being aimless, her mood swings. Um, and I don't know, it's just that line, I have no friend in my heart, I have no wind in my soul. It hits so hard every time I hear that song. It's so laid back and easy listening, but at the same time, uh, there's weight to it, which... Uh, yeah, that yeah. line cuts like a knife, there's yeah. no doubt about yeah. that. And guys, you know, music is the best form of healing. Robbie Williams says the same thing about his alcohol addiction and problem at one point in time. He says he used music as fuel to pull him out of that problem. Eric Clapton says that about his days. And it's remarkable how many people have been healed by the power of music. And uh, that's what the show also aims to do. Just keep it fun and also give you these wonderful telltale lessons of people who have been healed by the power of music. That's Dot's Indie Top 5, week one. We'll be back next week. Remember to follow Dot and the Syllables on Instagram. Go to just DOT on YouTube, Dot the YouTube channel. Get all her latest music. 
And of course, you can follow us at 94.3 Radio 1 India. From me, Rishi K, see you next week for episode two. Thank you, Dot. Thank Cheers. You. 94.3 Radio 1.